I now recognize the distinguished delegate from the Syrian Arab Republic. Mr. Chairman, first of all, I would like it recorded that I am extremely surprised by the manipulation which is carried out by some of the people present in this room who spoke in a way that can only be described as contradictory. And sometimes they contradicted themselves between the beginnings of their sentence and the end. Uh, Mr. President, I listened very carefully to what was said, and I would like to emphasize the following points. First of all, the issue of not politicizing or the claims to not be politicizing cannot be used as an excuse in any way to remain silent with the manipulation of the Israeli authorities with the reality on the ground in the occupied Golan Heights in its attempt uh, to emphasize the status quo of their occupation. Accepting the mission is its obligation based on humanitarian international law. Access to the mission should be unrestricted and unconditional. And that was not the case when it concerns the evaluation mission to the occupied Syrian Golan. The fact that the occupying forces misrepresent the support they give to the Al-Nusra Front, which is uh, the terrorist arm of Al-Qaeda in Syria, this cannot be presented falsely as humanitarian action and um, hampering the circulation of uh, Syrians in the Golan using discriminatory measures and other measures uh, can not be deformed or misrepresented in this forum or in any other fora. There is no doubt that the visit of the mission to the occupied Golan for three days only would not allow it to evaluate the health conditions in the Golan in a comprehensive uh, manner because uh, this mission was not allowed to take place since the occupation of the Golan of 1967, the occupying uh, um, authorities have prevented the creation of health centers in the occupied Golan since 1967. What prevented the publishing of the evaluation report was not Syria and its behavior. It was the shortcomings and the barrier, barriers which impeded the mission. And these obstacles were due mostly to the practices of the Israeli occupying forces, which uh, are trying to impose their illegal decisions and uh, continue their occupation. The occupying authorities must respect international law and must allow a mission, the mission of uh, the WHO and the missions sent by other organizations to take place and should uh, allow teams of these organizations to regularly visit the Golan in order to evaluate the health conditions and the living conditions of the participants in a comprehensive manner. And this was not the case when it comes to the mission which visited the Golan recently. The occupying authorities are asked to stop applying uh, their discriminatory and unfair policies which have led to the te deterioration to the living conditions of uh, the people living in the Golan uh, Heights and they do not have the necessary means to cover their medical expenses. Syria defends the rights of its citizens under occupation and this cannot be condemned. And therefore, I would like to express my deep condemnation at what was said by Germany and Slovenia concerning this matter. It is our right as a city whose citizens uh, are subject to arbitrary measures by an occupying uh, power. It is our right to defend our citizens, and we will continue to do that with determination and force. Thank you.